20 common English phrases only Americans used to understand. Okay, so this is for English for um, people in America. Baffling English phrases, okay? Some of these I went over in my other video, so I'll just skip over them and give you just a rundown. Piece of cake. That means it's easy. It is like, it's straightforward. You're not going to have trouble doing it. They say this assignment is a piece of cake. It means that it's not hard. This is also common. It's not rocket science, meaning um, it's not very hard to understand. And you um, don't need to be, you know, a scientist to understand it. Shoot the breeze. This means that people just want to talk. Um, not really having a heavy discussion, not having a um, very intense um, conversation. They just want to sit and talk. Hey, how you doing? I'm oh, doing great. You know, did you see the Friends episode? Yeah. Break a leg is if someone is going to get an event or um, they're going to give a performance, then um, people wanted you to just, you know, they would say break a leg because they were wishing you luck. They thought if they said it, then it wouldn't happen. Ballpark figure, they want you to just give an estimate. Okay? It's an estimate of numbers. Give me a ballpark figure how much that house is going to be. Oh, it's going to be about 30000 For the birds, means that it's, it's just worthless or trivial or um, it's not important. Behind the eight ball, that means there's really no good way out. It's like if you're shooting pool and um, you are behind the eight ball, there's really no way for you to move to get out of the situation. Monday morning for football means that people would watch the football game on Sunday night, go to work on Monday, and say, if I was the quarterback, if I was this. So basically, they're making a second guess on decisions, actions. You know, um, if I was in charge, I would have done this. Don't cry over spilled milk means don't cry over something that can't be fixed. If you spill the milk, if you've already done something, you can't cry over it because there's no way you can go back and fix it. <clears throat> Put up your dukes means they want you to fight. Table and item. Table and item means they want you to um, stop talking about it. We're going to come back to this conversation. Jump on the bandwagon. That means everybody, oh, this is a great thing it's trending it's happening so just get on you know um gather with us and agree with us plead the fifth means that you're not going to say anything else because you're guilty it refers to the fifth amendment and the fifth amendment means that um, it can protect a person from incriminating their selves in a crime. Go Dutch, it means that if you are going to eat with someone and they say we're going Dutch, you pay for yours and he'll pay for his. Or if you're going to the movies, the cinema, he'll pay for his and you pay for yours. Nosebleed section means that it is way, way, way far away from um, the event. It's usually the cheapest seating, and it's 
in reference to high altitude where people can have nosebleeds. All downhill from here, it doesn't mean you're going to fall. It means that you've made it past the, the hardest part and the rest is going to just be easy. Throws you under the bus. That means that somebody um, put the blame on you um, for something when they got caught. Oh, it was his fault. Children usually do this. Well, so-and-so told me to do this. So they basically betrayed them so that they could get to their own, you know, advancement. You know, I saw so-and-so doing this and because they want to get a promotion. Riding shotgun means you get to sit in the passenger seat. Break a bill means that you take a $5 bill and you want to get five ones. You have a $20 bill. You want to make break it into smaller denominations. You're just taking one bill and breaking it into different um, size bills. John Hancock means that you are signing something. John Hancock um, was one of the people that was signed on the Declaration of Independence. So when they say John Hancock, they want you to sign. English is complicated and that only people who speak the same exact language can understand. So I hope this was helpful for you and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.